Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Gotsa Dudes, and welcome back, bros, to Clash of Clans. So glad for you guys to join me today. I thought that I would switch it up a little bit, guys, and try something new. Haven't really shown you dudes some war attacks, so today, I think that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna do some war attacks, and I'm gonna show you uh, what exactly my clan's using to dominate up here in Clan Wars. And also, guys, this is really good for Clan War Leagues. If you guys are struggling in Clan War Leagues, obviously you need a good team and you need to practice a lot. But I can show you the compositions that we have going on that are getting us so many victories. This is kind of like just a shout out to my clan too. These guys are doing really good. And I think we're going to be doing Clan War Leagues pretty soon and we're going to be dominating that. But as you guys can see, uh, this is the Pekka Bow Bat. I believe that's the technical name that people are using for it, where you have Pekkas, Bowlers, and Bats. And uh, this has been really good for me as well. But you know, the problem with this is um, it's kind of iffy. And I think uh, I think this is a patch that Supercell did on it to discourage people from trying this attack. Basically, what I'm talking about, guys, is there's a weapon inside Clash of Clans that will target specifically these bats. You know, nothing else will target them. Well, I'll take that back. Every every weapon, every air defense weapon will target them, but there's one that just takes the cake. And I'll explain that to you guys in the next battle here. This one's about to be cleaned up. This is a three-star. Very nice attack. Whoa! Whoa! Very good. Queen cleans that up for the three star. Pekka Outcast is done. Let's go back. See what the second one. And it's actually pretty tough, guys, to do. Um, it's actually pretty tough to three star these max town halls up here like this. So you really have to. Um, really, you really have to study the the base before you go in. So check it out. What do we got? We got the. Pegabo bat? No, actually, this is not a pickle bat. This is a witch attack. What the? Haven't seen this in a while. We'll see how it's done. Okay, so this was actually the weapon I was talking about, guys. I think I can show you dudes a replay where these this eagle artillery will actually just target bats. I think it's like if if the bats clump together their hit points become higher for some reason. Clumping bats together makes the hit points get higher and so the Eagle Artillery will target them because I believe the Eagle Artillery targets uh, areas where the most troops are that have the highest hit points. I think it, that's, how it, how, that's how it works. It accumulates all of the hit points and then decides this is where it's gonna attack Usually it goes for golems and big big troops like that, but when it has bats all clumped up like that, for some reason, guys, it, it, it targets them. There we go. Look at that. Whoa. If they can just get that wizard tower. Nice. Balloon will get it. Making three stars easy. So yeah, we're just gonna sit through this, and uh, yeah, dudes, that's a. Uh, this is pretty interesting. I didn't know you could do witch attacks with this. All the witches are dead except one, and she's going down. Burn the witch. So now all they have left are healers and heroes, and a Pekka boy, Pekka girl. Sorry. This shouldn't be too difficult. So. What is my opinion on the strongest compositions in the game right now? It would have to be between the, um, after watching the ESLs, I think the Hog Rider, Hog Rider, uh, Mass Hog Riders, I think it's like 30 Hog Riders, a Siege uh, Stone Slammer, Healers, and uh, gosh, I don't even know what else they have, but I know the the um, composition is comprised usually of 30 hogs and the rest is just uh, troops to get to the town hall. 
So, dudes, check this out. This is going to be our last attack here. Punisher's going in. Now, this is the thing. You have to funnel. You have to funnel. If any, if anybody's going to three-star a base, I don't care who you are, you have to know how to funnel. That's the biggest thing, funneling, because it... <laughs> I mean, you could you could salvage uh, your attack if they split up and go the wrong way, but it's usually stronger when you have everyone together attacking at once. So here they go. I wonder if they're going to funnel into the town hall. That would be awesome. They'd have to take out these objects over here, these buildings. Oh, shoot. Healers have been targeted. They're going to go down. If they could just get out of range. Quickly get out of range. Okay, she lost two healers. There we go. He's funneling into the town hall. Just you need the, the siege machine getting in there will do it. Get the siege machine in and you've got it. Because the P.E.K.K.A. will open it up. And I believe a P.E.K.K.A. by itself could take out a town hall. Oh my gosh. The siege machine has to reposition. Oh, Grand Warden ability needs to be hit right there. Oh, there we go. All right, here comes the clan castle troops. That's a little late. Poison spell has been deployed. Eagle artillery is still alive and active. So it, this is the hard part: getting these infernal towers and the siege. Uh, the uh, the eagle artillery are the hard part in this. But he has a lot of troops. It's possible. It's very possible. If, if he had a jump spell, that would have been so easy. Okay, so that's it. All I need is just this infernal tower. That's the biggest part. I think by himself, with no bats or anything, there they go. They're in. Such a nice attack. And look at how many troops Punisher has left over. Man. I think that was just a bad placement of the infernal tower because usually the queens won't target those until the very end and they have to open up the walls to get to them. Right. Well, there's another three star in the basket. Party wizards to clean it up. Yeah, you guys are so good. Finally, I see some party wizards. Awesome. Okay, guys, so that's the war that we did right there. That was the most recent one. We three starred so many people. Um, let's go back. I'm going to do my attack as well. I'm gonna see if I can three star and then we'll call it a day. So hang tight, bros. Okay, guys, so here we are. We've got my attack going on. Funneling is the key. This is a semi-maxed Town Hall 12. All the weapons look pretty strong, so we're gonna have our we're gonna have our work cut out for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna push in with my siege machine. I'm gonna protect it so that it can make it to the town hall. I think with this next hit from the Eagle Artillery, I'm going to pop my ability. There we go. Protected. Eagle Artillery is down, and the Siege Machine should be able to make it to the Town Hall. Whoa, yeah, this is going to be a strong attack. Oh, I lost my Queen. Okay, we're still okay. We're still good. Let me get this Inferno Tower before it takes out all my troops. I got to get this thing. Because my heroes are walking around. And they're just going to get taken out by that Infernal Tower. Got to take that out. I'm going to hit the free spell with these Wizard Towers. Wait for it. Ooh. You guys. I'm going to just delay it just a little bit. Now. Whoa, that was close. No, the Wizard Tower at the Wizard Tower. Yes, get it. Oh, wow. You guys, I was so lucky right there. So lucky. All these bats are cleaning it up. Get the... T yes, get those. Okay, we're done. We just got to get the Infernal Tower. This is going to be tough, but I have a balloon. And I can throw that in there to, to distract. I can throw that in there to distract. So that my heroes and stuff will get in. I'm going to rage them up. One second. Here we go. Balloons away. 
Oh, shoot, guys. Here we go. Raged up. Oh, grab water. Okay. Wow. We still have... We only got 40 seconds left. And we have two storages that are way away from me. Ah, goblin. <laughs> well, guys. Even if I don't get it, I think this has been great. This is uh, my strongest composition right now. The Pekka Bobat. Or Bokugin. Because I use dragons as well. Oh, man, wizard. Please get through the wall. You've got 10 seconds. <laughs> Whoa, guys. It's going to be a clutcher. Can he do it? Yes. Awesome. Well, guys, there's my three star. Thank you, bro, so much for watching. This is Godson. Be sure to check me out next time, and I will see you there. Godson out.